I'm Jay Senior, host of the Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. It's opening night of Super Bowl 57. We're going to sit out and talk to some of the players and coaches and see what they have to say. So let's go. How would you describe your first season as a Philadelphia Eagle? Um, it's been everything. It's been it's been amazing. You know, the fans have embraced me with open arms. And, you know, the city has too. Um, just it's just been everything, man. We've been been rolling uh, as a team, and and we're here. You know, it's it's unbelievable, man. Philly is a special place, and you know. So We're on Twitter, that the NFL is scripted. So does the script have the Eagles winning the Super Bowl or the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl? I pay no attention to that. Uh, so you haven't seen the script. I saw it. I just scrolled in my. <laughs> you didn't read it? You got the email, but you just kept going. <laughs> no, I saw it on social media. I'm uh, like, I've been trying to stay on social media as much as I can. It is, focused. but it is scripted. Who <laughs> do you think would shotgun a beer faster, you, Jason Kelsey, or Travis Kelsey? Ooh, it definitely not me. Ooh, that'd be close out of Travis, and I'd probably go Jason too. Hey, talk about your journey from Groveton, yeah. quarterback at Kilgore College, into Oklahoma, into here. Just talk about that. Yeah, I man, I think, you know, you always draw inspiration from people, but, you know, whenever I was going to Kilgore, it was, it was Kevin Everett that made it out. Um, you know, Des Bryant out of Lufkin. So, you know, anybody that, that made it out of where we came from, Adrian Peterson, uh, you know, they just brought a lot of pride to the, to the hometown. But, you know, like what I was saying earlier, I'm on the back half of my career. Now I just want to uh, spend it with the people that helped me get there. So, Jake, you're perfect on field goal attempts in your playoff career. You were money in 2017. You're back here in 2022, 2023. But you're more seasoned now. How does this year compare back to 2017 from the season to the playoff run to where you're at right now? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different. I think um, the main thing is, like you said, just a little more experience. I know what to expect. Uh, that was back in my rookie year now, so I was kind of just along for the ride. And, um, you know, just, just knowing what to expect helps a lot. Uh, it was fun. It was a fun time, man. I, I think the best part about it was the production crew, for sure. Yeah, they, they made it a fun time for my fiance and I, man. And so we enjoyed our time there. We didn't know who the other cast members were. We just kind of just did our thing, but we spent more time with the production crew and, and befriended a lot of them, so it's a great time. Troy, <laughs> Dan! I was like, wait, wait, she knows who I am? Even, hey, she got me too when she said it like that. I was like, I have no idea, man. I have no idea, maybe. She Hey, Jason Momoa is not, not far off there, right? Come on. Come on. He's not that far off. <laughs> hey, I was, I was trying to win it. I didn't want to get gassed, okay? I was trying to win it, so. <laughs> Who would play me in a movie? In a movie? Uh, prob probably uh, Jason Momoa or... Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, that's, that's an easy one, man. Come on. What were pleasure songs you sing? Oh. Why is it your Eagles Christmas album? <laughs> that's actually not my uh, uh, guilty pleasure song, man. It's probably be. Uh, that's a good one. I never thought about this one, man. I never thought about that question. Guilty pleasure song. Why is it the Christmas album? Probably, it'd probably be this Christmas. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You sounded great on that album. I appreciate it. He left, and so we had won the Super Bowl already, and then see them, see him finally win one uh, in a long time. It was, it was definitely a great feeling. So, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, how it comes through a circle for me now is playing against my former, former coach and going in the year 13. Uh, still with the Eagles, and, and I couldn't ask for a, a better year to, uh, to have uh, going into the Super Bowl. What's it like turning on the film and watching the Chiefs red zone offense on the run? It's tricky. Them boys, them boys come up with some creative things in the, uh, in the red zone, so uh, we got to make sure that we do our best to try to not to, uh, let them get in there. How do, you pre how do you prepare for a trick play, you know? I mean, you, just stay, you know what? You trust your keys. You, you, you don't go and try to do anyone else's play. Uh, if you, you, you got to play the black backside, play the backside. Don't try to go front side to try to make somebody else's play. And, um, you know, just a little luck in there, too. You got a big old smile on your face all the time. You're mean as shit. We hear you out. 
Oh yeah, it's all fun. Uh, Cause this game, it's a game, so you gotta make it fun. Uh, you gotta be loose, and so that's my way of being loose. And if it affects certain guys, that's too, then that's their problem. Uh, I, I mean, I will I'll definitely do it. Uh, but yeah, it's all fun. Uh, 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 it exceeded more than what I even thought about. Uh, then going against somebody that I've seen plenty of times go and win it, uh, and go win and win against him, you know, couldn't take that one away from him. What's the key to longevity? You know what, uh, it was key. Coach said uh, something that was key this week. It's okay to say no. So you're going to have a bunch of family, a bunch of people hitting you up, trying to get you to go, hey, come over here, come do this, come do that. It's okay to say no, because that's part of the mental health too, because you can kind of want to please people too much sometimes and not think about yourself and overextend yourself. And, um, you know, I think that's, that's, that's growth. You know, that's part of, you know, just you do stuff for you, you know, not don't do stuff for other people. What's the key to having longevity in the NFL, especially being 34, being in the league this long, and this year having a career high in sacks? How do you keep your body right year in, year out to have this sustained level of success? Well, I, I give myself at least two or three times a massage. Well, not myself, but I, I uh, schedule me a massage, and I do acupuncture. And then, of course, uh, you know, I'm just steam sauna and stuff every day, making sure I'm taking care of myself on what I eat. And, you know, um, I would just say the Lord for sure. Uh, definitely been gotten. Top five rappers of all time off the dome. Wayne. All Wayne. Almost all Wayne. Really is. Almost really is all Wayne. But I'm trying to be respectful. I like uh, Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z. A little bit of Nas. Not, not too much Nas, but a little bit of Nas. But he. But he got bars though. You know what? I lie. Andre 3000 is better than that. Where's Drizzy at? Huh? Where's Drizzy at? Drake. Drake up there. He might be like number. I got Drake at probably number four. Then I put uh, Andre in there at five. Yeah. How does playing for the Lions compare to playing for the Eagles? Uh, I mean, it's different, you know, because we winning over here. But uh, what up, Zach? Hey, shout out to my dog Zach. Shout out to my boy Elks. That's my second. That's the secondary. You know what I'm saying? Got my young boy back there. He's AKA Mr. Ugly. Brooks. You know what I'm saying? Zach! Paul A. Elks. Paul A. S. A. My dog Elks. One of the best safety in the league right now. Woo! He finna get right. You know what I'm saying? Get ready. But, uh, say again? Uh, how does playing for the Eagles compare to playing for the Lions? Uh, I mean, just going out here playing, executing at a high level. But, uh,. It feels good, man. You know, you know, we win it. You know, and Detroit wasn't winning. And it's not because like coaching or anything, but we you know we just wasn't winning. And uh, being on the winning side of it feels very good, man. You know, sometimes over there, seasons felt long. This season went by pretty fast. I felt like because you know winning. But uh, man, I'm thankful for that. You know, that Philly kind of traded for me. And uh, you know, I do, I do love Detroit. I do love, I love Philly too.